Hey guys, I know it's been a long time and I'm really sorry that I haven't been out with another video. I've just been... Uh, I haven't even been busy, I can't even lie. I've just been lazy. I didn't feel like, you know, looking good. So today I was just like, you know what, F it. I'm not going to look good. I'm just going to be without makeup, not even mascara. I'm just going to roll out of bed. I'm not actually out of bed. I actually took a shower. <laughs> took a shower and I changed. But anyways, this is a video on how I cycled my saltwater aquarium. I set this up in December on Christmas, on like, on Christmas, December 25th, and I just got fish two days ago. I don't know when this is going to be up. I got it mid-February. I'll put the date that I got the fish down below. But then like, that's how long it took to fully cycle my fish tank with my method. And there are different ways to cycle your fish tank. And obviously it's like, you know, there's no like right way, there's no wrong way, except I really don't recommend fish cycling. And I'll make a video on why you shouldn't use fish to actually like cycle your aquarium. All right guys, so the way that this video is, is by ghost feeding. And you could tell that by the title. So basically you're just going to feed the tank without anything going in there like without fish or invertebrates or so nothing that's gonna eat it and you want to do this so that the ammonia rises up like it spikes up and then bacteria can um, develop and then it'll go back down and so I found that an easier way since I found the pelleted food I didn't buy the flake food or anything is to mix it in some water some like tank water so salt water until it gets like murky you know really brown and stuff until it's like fully dissolved and then you're gonna put that into the fish tank and you're gonna pour it in there so that the bacteria it's easier for the bacteria to grab onto it and like for your ammonia to spike up because then it won't be decomposing all slow and at first um my food i just kind of like literally fed it i just kind of put it in there and it turned really fluffy and like a fluffy white and it looked like mold um but then i called the pet store and they said no it's not mold it's just the bacteria that's having a tough time breaking it down so they told me next time to try to smush the food up so i thought why not just like make a little smoothie so <laughs> um I i'm not gonna use a blender for fish food because like my parents are just gonna yell at me so i decided just to stir it you use a fork or something i don't know i had a straw so i just kind of like stirred it so then all you want to do is you just want to pour all of that muddy delicious uh, a fish food smoothie uh, <laughs> in your fish tank and you can see how cloudy it's gonna make your fish tank it's gonna look disgusting but it'll be fine you know it'll clear up in a couple of days and so yeah it's not gonna be the prettiest and I kind of failed at this because I did not dissolve it all the way because I am an impatient piece of person so, uh, so yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff in the water that's not supposed to be there. The food wasn't supposed to be all intact, all in whole bits. And you're going to see in the next clip that I failed. So don't do as I do. Do as I say. Make sure that it's fully dissolved. So yeah, that's what you don't want to happen. Um, uh, the problem is, like, it's not going to affect the cycling that much. It's just going to take a bit longer because the bacteria can't really, like, reach it all at once. You could just simply not pour the entire thing like I just did because I don't think sometimes. Uh, you could just use the muddy looking water and that'll be fine. So you could also use some bottled ammonia that they sell at the store. However, I just think that that's a waste of money when you could just use fish food. Stability is a bottled bacteria that will help you introduce bacteria into your fish tank. The directions to add the Seachem Stability will be in the description bar below. And no, this is not sponsored because I am not popular, so nobody knows me yet. <laughs> you know when your fish tank is cycle when your ammonia is at zero and your nitrates are very high. A video on more information on the nitrogen cycle and how to know if your fish tank is cycled will be up in the future. Alright guys, so this is my fish tank today. It currently only has one snail because they didn't have anything else when I went to the store. I will go today to get them and that's going to be the next video or next next video on like, you know, what's in here. Um, these shells are just empty for the hermit crabs that are going to come in. And so yeah, it is very clear as you can see. My mom came in today and she was like, wow, yes, eso está cristalina. And it means that it's like crystal clear in Spanish. 
So I'm pretty proud of my tank. It's so pretty. It's fully cycled. So that's why I'm stocking it now. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos. And don't forget to hit the notification button on so that you never miss a video. I think I already said that. Okay. I hope you guys have a great day.